Setting up the leg drag from the Dela Hiva. What I like to do is I like to anchor myself to his upper body with the same side collar grip. I also like to control this far leg. So I'll grab right here on the shin. All right, and I'm pressing my weight into him. I'm pushing my knee into his hamstring, into his Dela Hiva hook, and I'm pushing his other knee to his chest. I need to beat this Dela Hiva hook right here. All right, how I gotta do that is I'm gonna extend that leg back pushing my hamstring into his foot to pop that hook off. And now so we can't get it back, I'm just gonna turn my toes slightly outward. And now this hook is very hard to replace. From here now, to set up this leg drag, I'm still pressing my weight into him. And naturally he's gonna to wanna to push back into me to get some space. And when he does that, I'm gonna remove my hips. All right, I'm gonna push my hips back to create a lot of space, just like so. All right, so I extend my hips back, I straighten my leg, now there's a lot of room here to guide his leg across. Right, so I'm here, I've beaten this Dela Hiva hook. As he pushes back into me, I take that and I guide his leg across my thigh, kind of shelving it here. But oftentimes, a good defense for the guard player is to open up their hip and open up their knee so that I can't occupy this space between the thigh and the chest. So one thing I like to do to kind of beat that and make sure I occupy that space with something, all right, is I like to loop my arm through. As he opens up, I like to open up my arm, just like so, and just hug the leg. Now, what I like about this grip is that my elbow is so tight in between his legs that's hard for him to grab my elbow and start to flare it out to open it up. Where if I'm here in the leg drag, like traditional grip, you can flare my elbow a lot. So when I'm here, there's not much for him to grab that I can stick really tight and really heavy to his hips. I'm here. As it starts to open up his knee, I get low. I drop my weight as low as I can. And now from here, he's still gonna be opening up his knee. I might have to base on my head here just so I can stay low and beat that knee. All right, I just wanna make sure I'm in front of this leg. So what's really important is that when I'm here, I'm extending this leg all right, into his, so I'm maxing out his range of motion. If I'm loose here, they can oftentimes start to replace guard one way or another. So I extend my leg into the back of his hamstring, max out his hips and his range of motion. And now once I'm here, what I like to do is I like to grab four fingers in the back of his pants. What that lets me do is start to pick his hips up and I start to build my base. All right, so I start to build my base back up into my left leg here. And now what I'm thinking about doing is dropping my head low, all right? He's gonna be pushing his hips into me, trying to frame on me. What I need to do to beat that is I'm gonna drop my far shoulder on his chest and get my head really low so there's nothing for him to frame on. So I'm here, I drop my shoulder down, and now I'm getting really heavy. My head, my shoulders, all focused on pinning his shoulders to the mat so he can't shrimp into me. And I'm picking his hip off the mat at the same time. All right, so everything is focused on keeping his hips facing away from me and pinning his shoulders down. But now what I need to do to solidify the leg drag is I need to use his hand on the upper body to control. And if I just move my arm out here, he's gonna control my bicep and it's gonna make it hard for me to work. So from here, I don't bring my arm out and over. I bring my arm out and through, just like so. So I can grab the bicep and start to pull his arm to his body. All right, if his arm is out, he might be able to sit up and start to give me more trouble. So when I'm here, and he's looking for something to push on, he's framing on me. Take my arm out, I loop it through, push the bicep to the floor, and drag his elbow in. I'm picking up his hips while pressing all my weight into the shoulders. I pull this bicep to his hip, and now I'm just gonna walk to the side and solidify side control. Ha, 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 ha.